Welcome to Team Manager in two minutes. If you have a Control Logix PLC or a Compax Logix PLC, Quentin is about to show you the easiest way to connect your PLCs to SQL databases or AWS IoT SiteWise Cloud so you can perform industrial analytics at scale. And you might not know that you can connect your PLC to databases or cloud without writing code, without using protocol translation, and without a PC in the middle. How is this possible? There's actually a Control Logix and a Compact Logix PLC module that's built for this purpose, and Quentin is about to introduce you to this now. Today, we're going to be configuring a Control Logix team manager. We're going to be going across the back plane to a Control Logix PLC, and then we're going to go out one of our Ethernet ports to SQL Server and our other Ethernet port to Amazon AWS. The first thing you want to do is connect to your controller. So you click controller to find controllers. You can see the Control Logics team manager goes across the back plane and you can see my Control Logics PLC there. The next thing you want to do is connect to Microsoft SQL Server. You'd input your credentials and enumerate the database and then hit OK to save that adapter off. Once you've done those two things, you're ready to configure a transaction. Click transaction new transaction. Today we're just going to do an insert. So I will pick my database. I need to select which table in the database I want to write to. Pick the work and process table. Say yes, we want to copy all the columns and then we can simply drag in our PLC tags that match up with our SQL database columns. So as I'm pulling these in here, you can see it's quite simple. We also have the option to where you can add a timestamp from the team manager module if you wanted to. You can also add a constant as well. So I'll go ahead and input my name here. I can simply hit connect. Next, we need to define how often this transaction is going to take place. We do that with the trigger. We have a trigger configured to monitor our production counter. As it increments, we fire a transaction. I can hit OK to save that off. And then I need to start that transaction. And you can see we're firing data now. Next, we're going to connect to Amazon AWS. You'd click a, you'd create an MQTT adapter, input your valid credentials, um, and you, the certificates used by AWS. You, we've already connected to the Control Logics PLC, so we'll say new transaction. This time, we're going to do an outbound transaction. We pick our application, in this case, MQTT. Next, we need to go to our tags that we want to send to Amazon AWS. In this case, it's these wind turbine tags. We simply generate the JSON schema for that. Select that schema we just generated. Close that out. Shift highlight our tags. Drag those all in. Simply hit connect. This time we have a trigger that's firing every second. So we'll select that. Hit OK to save that off. Set that trigger to run. And now we're populating data into Amazon AWS as well. Uh, here's the data that we are now populating into Amazon AWS. And this is being written to a dashboard that we've configured to match our wind turbine data. Wow, thanks, Quentin. You know, there's a lot of hype out there right now about connecting OT to IT. Solutions are popping up all over the place from everywhere. Don't be fooled by these software solutions that claim to be easy. There's no other solution on the market that can do what Quentin just showed you. This is the easiest and actually the only way to get connected without writing any software code, without a PC in the middle, and without protocol translation. Get in touch with Softing today by clicking the contact button or send us an email at info at softing.us. Let's talk about your industrial analytics project so you can start your digital transformation journey today.